Welcome back to our studies on nuggets from Psalm series 4. Today we are going to think about certain spiritual nuggets from Psalm number 89 verses 1 to 10. This particular portion of the Psalm is speaking about the faithfulness of God. The Bible says that God is so faithful. Even though we remain unfaithful, Bible still says that He remains faithful to us. Have you thought lately about the faithfulness of God in your life? Too often, we are prone to focus on our own faithfulness and our own faith. We emphasis our faithfulness, our own faith. But our victorious Christian life is a sign or indication that we are trusting a faithful God who cannot fail. For the Bible says that God is not failed. It is not that we are faithful to Him, but the Bible says that He is faithful to us. How should we respond to the faithfulness of God is a very important question. Three aspects in this relation I would like to bring to your attention this evening. First of all, sing of his faithfulness. Verse number 1, Psalm number 89. Secondly, share God's faithfulness to others. We read in the same verses following of sharing the faithfulness of God. And thirdly, submit to his faithfulness. So, sing of his faithfulness, share his faithfulness to others, and then submit to his faithfulness. See, first of all, the psalmist says here, sing of his faithfulness. And it says in verse number 1, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known your faithfulness to all generations. Number one, Verse number 1. Are you praising God today for His faithfulness? When you find yourselves unfaithful to the Lord, consider the loving faithfulness of God to your life. After all, the Bible says that He is faithful and just to forgive all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. See, always remember the faithfulness of God even when we remain unfaithful to God in our life. And secondly, the psalmist says here, share the faithfulness of God to others. You share the faithfulness of God to others. He says in the next verse that with my mouth I will make known your faith faithfulness to all generations. With my mouth, I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. So in giving our testimonies very often, that we boast ourselves. I have attended a spiritual meeting on one occasion where the person who was leading the meeting, he reminded the congregation, let us give praise to the Lord and let's be careful not to give praise to ourselves. And he said, it's a very meaningful statement. Let's praise the Lord and let be careful not to praise ourselves. This is what it happens almost all times when we gather together in a spiritual meeting. So we have so many things to brag about ourselves. We boast many things about our personal life and our personal achievements. But we need to learn how to bring glory to God in remembering His faithfulness and sharing His faithfulness, how the Lord has been faithful to my life. The psalmist said, I am going to share the faithfulness of God to others. Not what I have done, but what God has done to me. What He has done to my life, not what I am, but what He is. This should be our prime motto when we share about the 
faithfulness of the Almighty God. Thirdly, submit to His faithfulness. God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, says the psalmist, and to be held in reverence by all those who are around him. Verse number 7. I will repeat that words. He says, God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be held in reverence by all those who are around him. Our God is a faithful God. No doubt about it. When we go through the books of the Bible, especially in the history of the children of Israel, we know how faithful our God was in relation to their life. How he delivered, the, delivered them from the land of Egypt. How did they, he led, lead them through the wilderness for about 40 years in providing them provisions from time to time. Manna from heaven for their food. Water from the rock for their drink. And the pillar of fire in the night so that they should not be perished in the wilderness journey by the extreme cold in the wilderness. And also the shade uh, of cool in the daytime that they should not be worn out by the heavy uh, sunlight and heavy hot in the wilderness. See, keeping these three ideas in mind, that is seeing of his faithfulness, Share his faithfulness to others and submit to his faithfulness. The psalmist says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. And he subsequently says, with my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. And finally in verse number 7 he says, God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be held in reverence by all those who are around him. Can we trust him today? Of course, we can trust him. Not only today, we can trust him always. We can trust him today, we can trust him tomorrow, and we can trust him all the days of our life, for he is faithful in his nature. And is his word going to fail? No, not even one promises of God has ever failed in the history. Is His grace going to run out? No, it shall never run out. He has the vast riches of grace. And God is faithful in everything. Bible says that He has bountifully blessed us with all the uh, riches of grace from heaven. May we continue to trust Him, trust His faithfulness, and then share His faithfulness and sing of his faithfulness and submit to his faithfulness all the days of our life, bringing glory to his name now and forevermore. May our God bless you all by these precious thoughts as we meditate upon this psalm continuously in our days coming. In his service, Lord Servant Titus from Hidearbla. Thank you.